What's up guys, my name is Adam Balázs, welcome to the Malawi documentary. This is the sixth episode, which means there is only one episode left and that comes in uh, two weeks at Saturday, 6 p.m. Central European time. We are almost at the end, but before that, let me take you to one of my favorite places we have been through our journey in Africa, Majeta Wildlife Reserve. With over 5,000 animals, over 70 species reintroduced to the park, including black rhinos, elephants, lions, leopards, cheetahs, wild dogs, antelopes and buffaloes, Majeta became one of the big five reserves in the country and it is Malawi's prime destination. But this wasn't the case until 2003 when the government of Malawi took over the management of the park. Before that, the park was an unknown and failing reserve in the southwestern part of Malawi. The wildlife of Majeta was hunted out and only a few antelopes remained. The trees were being felled for charcoal and it became a wasteland with no perceived value and a little to no hope for revival. But with an unlikely story of resurgence and restoration today, Majeta is guiding the path along the road of possibilities for the rest of the parks in Malawi. The park is a completely unspoiled wilderness destination, offering a sense of total serenity far away from the tourist crowds. Also, the park is located only an hour and a half drive from Blanta, this makes it a perfect reserve for day visitors but there are possibilities to stay overnight or for even a longer period either in their uh, community campsite in the forest or in one of the Tavale tented lodges just next to a water hole that attracts by the way a wide variety of wildlife or in the Kulamandu Lodge for those who seek more luxury. However, getting to the park is not the easiest with no public transportation or whatsoever, so it is highly recommended to take a 4x4 or hire a taxi, but for those who love uh, traveling by aircraft, the park has its own uh, airstrip and uh, charters can be booked with the local providers. Lily and I decided to go to the park and uh, visit it only for one day because it's quite expensive to stay overnight even in their uh, community campsite which costs around uh, 70 US dollars per person per night while uh, the Tavala Lodge is uh, 200 USD per person per night and uh, the Kulmadzu Lodge is starting at 400 per person per night. So yeah, we decided to keep that money and spend it on activities instead in the park. We woke up early morning, packed our things and ran to the market of Chikwaba where uh, an old friend we met traveling from Blanta came and picked us up in his car and uh, took us to Majeta. So we got to the park and uh, since we were still just right after the lockdown in Malawi there were only a few people in the park with us and uh, the whole reserve just started to get into its normal shape so it felt like we got a private day in there and everyone was working just because we were there. Majeta offers several different activities that you can participate on uh, such as uh, game drives, boat ride, bird walk, uh, private walking tour, uh, lunch in the bushes, uh, flight over the reserve and uh, many more around 25 to 30 USD per person per activity. And I would say you can uh, easily do two activities in a day, uh, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, without having to rush and uh, really comfortable. We decided that we are going to start the day with a game drive around the park. If you don't know what's a game drive, it's uh, essentially riding around the park in a huge uh, jeep watching animals. And again, the car was uh, almost just ours because there were no other uh, tourists at the place. And the guy driving this monster was uh, super nice, he tried to take us to the best places where, around the park where we had the most chance to, to see all the species.
after we finished with the game drive, uh, we had a quick lunch next to the pool at the reception that can, by the way, can be enjoyed by all the guests uh, free of charge. And for the afternoon, we signed up for a boat ride on the river. I would really love to say that watching these animals in the nature was the most exciting part of the whole uh, boat trip, but what made it so special was the captain of the ship. He was the most amazing guide we could ever get. It was written on his face that he loves his job and he knew everything about the park, about the animals, the birds, especially the birds, he loved those. He, by the way, uh, makes all the bird walks in the park and he's just such a wonderful guy. At the end of the day, we went back to the reception and um, all the other guests left by that time we received our dinner that we ordered earlier from the park's restaurant and we could enjoy a bit uh, the sunset, cool beers and uh, cooler weather and the sounds of the park until I arrived. Right. That's it for today guys, thank you for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Hit the like button and subscribe if you aren't already, ring the bell if you want to get notified. There is only one more episode left before we finish the show, but until that, have a great day and see you guys in the next one. Bye! Oh, and if you are in much the watch out for the baboons, they seem to be nice and cute, but those fuckers steal the shit out of you if you don't look.